Hi guys, how are you? Hope you're enjoying this great day. I wanted to make a video to help you with the test material for tomorrow. And as always, you can get back to me with questions if you don't understand something that I'm saying. What I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to go over the test syllabus, which I just updated. And then I'm going to go over the reading that we have for the test tomorrow. First of all, I want to just tell you that whenever we do something on this video, you can stop it. That's what's great about it. Stop it and take notes and or check what you're doing. Okay? Um, so here we go. If you look at the test syllabus, I put up a video that tells you how to create the past tense in Spanish. This past tense is called the preterito. And pretty much it means it would be something like, I spoke, I did speak. It's the way we use Spanish to express something that happened and is completed. Okay? So if you'd like to get some extra credit on the test, you know in advance that you need to know the endings for AR, ER, and IR verbs. Next, one of the big parts of the test, as you saw on the um, the test falso is vocabulary. So we have a lengthy list of vocabulary and you're only going to have to know it from Spanish to English. You'll have to use it in context. Okay? So why don't we do this now? Uh, just stop my video for a minute. Get on to Edmodo and we'll go to the reading that's on the bottom of the test material. Okay, so I'm going to read this with you and I'm just going to point some things out. Mi nombre es Sanjita. Tengo 11 años. Vivo en New Delhi, India. Con mi padre, madre, dos hermanos y tres hermanas. Mis abuelos también viven con nosotros. En la India, La familia es muy importante. Es común. Now, from the word común, you can figure out that it's common or it's normal. Es común tener abuelos, tías, tíos y primos viviendo en la misma casa. Now, that might be different than in the United States. We might have some grandparents or maybe an assorted uncle or aunt. But uh, it's not that common that we have all of those together. Now, it says, uh, Viven con nosotros. En la India, la familia es muy importante. Es común tener abuelos, tías, tíos, o primos viviendo en la misma casa. The word misma means the same. Okay, mis tías, tíos y primos también viven cerca. Now, on the test, I might say to you, hey, what's the opposite of cerca in Spanish? You're going to need that. Nos vemos a menudo. Now, at the end of the class, you might hear me say, nos vemos, which means we'll see each other. We don't know when, but we'll see each other. It's not like saying hasta luego, where you know I'm going to see you later. Okay? Nos vemos means we see each other often. So ver, the uh, direct object nos, and then a menudo is often. Mi hermano mayor, which is my older brother. Don't forget to pause the video so you can take notes. Es programador de computadoras. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the opposite of mayor, which looks like our word for mayor, is menor. Mi hermano menor, M-E-N-O-R, means my younger brother. And it looks like the word minor in English. Okay. Mi hermano uh, ahora mismo... Él está en Australia. Su compañía 
low NVO. All right, there's an example of the preterite tense. Aya, and there are a couple words for there in Spanish. This aya is when you're talking about something that's really far away. Okay? So, sent him there for a year. Todos lo extrañamos mucho. So, one of the questions might be, ¿Cómo se dice I miss you? <coughs> Perdón. So, we know that extrañamos probably comes from extrañar. E-X-T-R-A-N-Y-A-R. Okay? Uh, and you want to say, I miss you. Te extraño. All right. Le escribimos cartas cada semana. Yo quiero que él venga. Now, in your notes, you may just want to put next to that, yo quiero que él venga. I want him to come. Okay? That's how they would say that. In Spanish, they use the subjunctive and they say, I want that he comes. All right. Hope that's been some help. And get back to me with an email if you have any problems. Take care. Hasta lunes. And get out in that beautiful day. Bye-bye.